Reports indicate that the Russian Pantsir S-1 air defense system, captured on a Libyan battlefield, has been flown to a U.S. airbase in Germany in a clandestine operation. This was reported first in the Times and the operation was carried out in June last year. The mission involved sending a team on a U.S. Air Force C-17 Globemaster cargo plane to Zuwara Airport west of Tripoli to transport the system back to Ramstein Base in southwest Germany. The system was purchased from Russia by the United Arab Emirates, which had sent it to the Libyan National Army LNA, which was loyal to it. The immediate motive was that the system needed to be secured from falling into the wrong hands. Viewers may note that Pantsir S-1 can easily bring down a civilian aircraft. But there's more to it. Another aim would be to gather technical data and functional secrets. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. getting an intact Pantsir S-1 could be a significant jolt for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Libyan National Army LNA, led by General Khalifa Haftar, has its main hub in Tobruk in eastern Libya and is supported by Russia, the UAE, and Egypt. It has been engaged in a civil conflict for years now with the UN-backed Government of National Accord GNA. As of now, it is not clear exactly what model of Pantsir S-1 was reportedly recovered. Libyan National Army had received several of these systems from the United Arab Emirates. Some of the examples included a version that uses a German-made 8x8 MAN SX truck chassis, while others are of standard Russian type which uses an 8x8 Kamaz 6560 truck chassis. There have been reports that shadowy mercenaries from the Russian private military group Wagner have been in charge of Pantsir S-1s. In 2019, U.S. Africa Command had stated that an unspecified drone, most likely to be an MQ-9 Reaper, had been shot down near Tripoli by Russian-made air defenses thought to be Pantsir S-1, operated by forces aligned with the LNA. The Pantsir S-1 missile system is a self-propelled surface-to-air missile system. It is designed to provide point air defense of military, industrial, administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles, and UAVs. Viewers may note that the S-400 missile defense system is also protected by Pantsir S-1. The Pantsir S-1 is mobile and uses wheeled or track chassis. Its fire control system includes a target acquisition radar and dual waveband tracking radar that operates in the UHF and EHF waveband. The detection range is 22 miles or 36 kilometers and the tracking range is 17 miles or 28 kilometers for a target with 2 square meters or 22 square feet RCS. The system has 360 degree coverage and both the sensors use a passive electronically scanned array. There is also an infrared radar that is capable of detecting, acquiring and tracking targets even in low visibility conditions. Pantsir S-1 is unique as it is the first version of the Pantsir family air defense system that combines short to medium range surface to air missile and anti-aircraft artillery 
in a single platform. The surface-to-air missiles are the 12 57E6 or 57E6E two-stage solid fuel radio command guided missiles. The missiles are arranged into two groups of six, sealed, ready to launch container tubes on the turret. The missiles have a range of 20 kilometers or 12 miles, max speed of Mach 3.8, and carry a 20 kilogram high explosive fragmentation warhead. Anti aircraft artillery is the two dual 2A38M 30 millimeter auto cannon guns that are fitted with 700 rounds. The crew can choose the kind of ammunition depending on the nature of the target which includes high explosive fragmentation or armor piercing rounds. The maximum rate of fire is 2,500 rounds per minute per gun. The cannon has a range of two and a half miles or four kilometers. There is a question, is bringing back and inspecting a Pantsir S1 worth the effort? The Pantsir have a checkered record and its effectiveness when encountering a well-organized air force is suspect. It suffered losses in Libya as well as Syria, especially against Israeli forces. While some of this can be attributed to poor quality operators, crucial issues have been discovered with Pantsir S1. Editor-in-chief of Russian Arsenal of Fatherland magazine, Viktor Murakovsky, had posted on his Facebook wall about this and made some startling disclosures. According to Murakovsky's post, in Syria, it came to light that these Pantsir S1 anti-aircraft missile systems practically do not track low speed and small size targets, which includes drones, but at the same time regularly spotted big birds flying around the base, which is confusing for operators. Lenta.ru, which cited another Russian military expert, Alexei Klopatov, reported that within 24 hours, Murakovsky was forced to remove his post. Alexei Klopatov said, It appears that our weapons, to journalists and experts, can only be praises, clearly hinting about pressure from the Russian military. Problems with Pantsir S1 have led to the development of the upgraded system called Pantsir SM and new surface-to-air missiles, including a hypersonic one. The Times stated, a Russian official said Moscow was aware the U.S. had removed the Pantsir system, but suggested its capture would be of limited intelligence value since the U.S. would have the opportunity to study the same system in the UAE. Export versions, such as the one captured in Libya, are supposedly stripped of a carefully guarded identification friend or foe database with the transponder codes for all Russian Air Force jets. Whatever be the capabilities of the system, the UAE is unlikely to have ever allowed American technical personnel to completely tear down any of its Pantsir S1s. Some of the Pantsir S1 negative images are also based on videos of them being struck by drones and missiles. It's to be noted that without proper planning and operator training, any air defense system, however good it may be, will be vulnerable. In several videos, Pantsir S1s seem to have been hit when they were undergoing repairs or were unattended or when they ran out of ammunition. Pantsir S1 is a success when it comes to the export market and presents a potential threat to the U.S. forces in future conflicts. Considering all this, we can say that there is an excellent value if an intact system can be inspected by the U.S. and its allies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.